Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is Tuesday the 6th and we are going to be having another CCRN study day, but also I have papers to grade and I have um, chapters to study, like look at the PowerPoints for, for my class because our quiz, like our practice quiz closes tomorrow morning. So lots of work to do today, but I figured I would take you along with me. First up on the agenda is dropping Nala off at daycare because I work the next two days and I don't have anyone to watch her. So she's going to go to daycare. So I'm going to drop her off. I have therapy at 10. We're going to go work at a coffee shop for a little bit. I'm eating a quick little breakfast here, but I think I'm going to get food at a coffee shop so I can stay for a while and be content, especially because I won't have to like rush back to walk the dog. And then I need to stop at TJ Maxx and Home Goods because for one of the book clubs that I'm a part of, we're doing a little swap for Valentine's Day. So I want to go pick out some cute like self-care things. And I think TJ Maxx and Marshalls will be a good place to at least start. Um, and there's one kind of near where I'm planning to go get coffee in that area. So, um, and I have a TJ Maxx and Marshalls gift card. So let's get into today. I'm about to go leave to drop Nala off. It's about 9.15 and then we'll head over to therapy. Okie dokie. It is 3.30 right now. I did all of the PowerPoints for um, Unit 2 for my class. I did the quiz, which I got a 70 on, which um, the quizzes aren't graded. I can't remember if I mentioned that. It's like a practice quiz to kind of test your knowledge. So starting off with a 70% just based off of my like initial reading through it once knowledge, I'm not like super disappointed in. Um, and we get three tries for the test. So I'm pretty confident that I will be able to get an A on the test. And then I took another practice test for CCRN and I actually got an 87%. So I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I haven't gotten a score that's given me a green bar <laughs> in a very long time or actually never. I've never gotten a green bar. I've gotten a yellow bar a couple times as like you're close, but green as like you're, you would pass with this score. This was my first one. So I was really excited about that. I got like 87% of the questions, right? I think I said that. Um, so I feel a little more confident going into next week. I know in the last vlog, I talked about how stressed I was about it and I'm still stressed. Don't get me wrong, but that really gave me like a little confidence boost that I needed. Um, so with that, I am going to head over to Home Goods and TJ Maxx, like I mentioned earlier. Right now I'm at Costco in line for gas because it is $2.77 a gallon for gas and um, it's on my way to TJ Maxx and Home Goods. What else? That's really it. I stayed at the coffee shop a lot longer than I thought I would, but I got a lot done, so it worked out. Um, I do still need to grade some papers for clinicals, so we'll see what time I get home and if I want to do that tonight or just kind of save it for tomorrow at work, which is not ideal. Um, but I should, I sh really should at least start it, but we'll, we'll see what my motivation level is like. I gotta cut myself some slack here. I did a lot today. Um, and yeah, my home chef box should be here by the time I get home. So maybe I'll make one of those meals. I got two meals this week. Um, so maybe I'll make one of those for dinner tonight. We'll see. I have some leftovers from the last home chef meal I made on, um, Sunday. Yeah. So only like two days ago. So we'll see. Now I'm just kind of rambling while I wait <laughs> in line for gas, but I will do a TJ Maxx and home goods haul. When I'm done. Okay, it's quite a bit later. It's nearly eight o'clock, but I ate, kind of got my life together, started grading some papers, and then realized that I never did a haul of what I got at TG Maxx and Home Goods. Um, I didn't get a ton of stuff. I found like a good starting point for this gift basket thing I'm making. Um, but I definitely need to go to like a local store because the girl and I that are doing the swap had agreed that we would love to try like some local things from 
each other's place. So like me sent her some like Raleigh slash North Carolina things and her send me some Austin slash Texas things. Um, I have actually been to Austin, but I thought it could be fun to like include that in the little gift basket. I think I mentioned this, but it's through one of the book clubs I'm with. That's like a national thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's start with this massive thing. I got a roll of, I almost said toilet paper. I got a roll of wrapping paper. Um, it was only $3.99 and it's this really pretty like holographic pink. I think what I'm gonna do is use one of like the old shipping boxes I have from something I ordered and put all the stuff in there, but maybe like individually wrap everything so it's kind of a surprise. If I don't use it for that, I'm gonna use it for something else. I just feel like you can never go wrong with like a plain solid color wrapping paper. Like I could use that for someone's birthday or really anything. Um, and then for me, unrelated to the Valentine's Day gift basket, I got these really cute shorts and little top. Um, it's like a swimsuit cover up kind of set. I think I might have mentioned this in a recent vlog or maybe even earlier in this one everything's kind of blurring together unfortunately but I'm going to Puerto Rico with two of my friends in March exactly a month from now and I just wanted to get an extra bathing suit cover up and this was $25 and I had a $25 gift card so I was like okay this feels like a really good use of my $25 gift card because um I'll wear this on every other beach trip I ever go on probably um, and I liked the idea of since we're gonna be at a resort like having a cover-up set to walk around the hotel in and not have to like throw on a t-shirt and shorts and whatever it doesn't really matter I'm going into way too much detail per usual um, also for me <laughs> unrelated to the gift basket which is most of this honestly I saw someone talk about this on TikTok actually so I wanted to try them myself um, they are compression ankle socks and they're antimicrobial, anti-odor, it comes with two pairs. Um, and what I really hate about compression socks is I can't really wear them with my jogger scrub pants because they get really tight and uncomfortable. So I'm interested to see if these still do a good job, um, you know, for the days that I do wear the jogger pants, because obviously I'm not gonna like get rid of all my jogger pants just so I can wear compression socks. But at the same time, I feel like I should really be wearing some compression socks for work. So it was $6 for this set, figured I would try them out. And if I like them, I can always go back and buy more, but I will keep you updated. I also got this mini candle. I almost bought the big size of this and some other ones because I really, you guys probably know, I really love these little, um, candles that look like little soda cans. I love them for the aesthetic of my house, of course, but I also like them for the smell. Um, and so this is a lemon lime one. And I thought even though it's green, it would probably still go in my kitchen as decor because I kind of have like a lemony fruit theme going on. Um, but yeah, this smells really good. So I bought the mini instead of the huge one. And then I got a beauty blender pack that comes with one of the little soaps. <sighs> beauty blenders are so expensive. I know that. I never buy them full price. I always buy them at TJ Maxx, but something about the actual beauty blender just hits different for me. Like I just love the beauty blender. I love my Real Technique sponges. I haven't tried the paw paw ones that everyone talks about on Amazon, but I really do just love a real beauty blender so much. So when this was on sale for 20 bucks, which is usually the price of one beauty blender and you get a second one and a soap, I was like, okay, I can justify this because I really like the beauty blender. So got this for me also. And then one more thing for my trip, I accidentally broke the mini mirror that came in my base travel makeup bag so I no longer have a travel mirror which is not really that big of a deal but again I'm going to Puerto Rico um next month so I really would like to have a travel mirror and Impressions Vanity makes really great mirrors I have a little light up compact one from them that I enjoy but when I saw this and it was Barbie themed I was like okay I'm in so it's just a little flip up mirror that you can like make it stand or you know turn it whatever way and I don't think it has bad oh oh lord it does in fact have batteries 
Anyway, <laughs> it lights up and has three different color settings. So if the lighting is bad in a hotel or whatever, <laughs> you can, um, you know, use it. It's actually, now that I'm noticing, it's actually just chargeable through a USB. So that's even better. I thought this had batteries, but I'm really excited about this now that I just blinded myself. But I think this is just like a good thing to have. It's really lightweight and um, it's not like that thick. Like I don't think it'll um, be an issue for like packing or anything, but I'm really excited about this. I think it was 30 bucks. If you guys are thinking you're looking for some context, but these are generally kind of expensive on Impressions Vanity's website. I think they're like usually at least 50. So um, seems like I might've gotten a good deal on that. And the last thing I got from TJ Maxx is something for the little Galentine's Day box. And it is this satin sleep pillowcase, eye mask and scrunchie set. I just got the plain white one cause I wasn't sure like what, you know, what her bedding is like or anything, but it was $8 and I really love this. Like I feel like it's elevated my whole sleep experience. I don't have this exact brand, but I have all of these items. And so for $8, I felt like it was a really good like self care item for her. Um, our limit is $25 before shipping. So this leaves me with a good amount of wiggle room, like 15 more dollars. Um, and then from Home Goods, I got another thing for the little box. I got this little um, DW Home candle that just says XOXO, you know, the little Valentine's Day one. Um, I, I was going back and forth on if I should get her a candle because I feel like candles are very like personal like everybody likes their own scent and everything but I figured this was a mini one so if she hates it you know she doesn't have to burn it it's not like the end of the world and it was only five dollars so um I figured I would grab this and since it's Valentine's Day themed you know I was like okay kind of goes with the theme that we're working with here um so yeah the total for this is only 13 dollars so that leaves me some room to find some good local stuff for her and then I did grab this and I wasn't, I'm not sure still if I want to do this as like the third and final item and go a little bit over budget for her or kind of what I want to do if I want to keep this for myself. Um, so I picked it up regardless because I was like, either way, I'll be happy if I keep it or I'll be happy if I give it to her. Again, coffee mugs are just like so stereotypical. So I was like, I don't really want to just get her a coffee mug and a candle. Like that's not fun. But I also could use another one of these coffee mugs. So that's why I was like, I'm just going to buy it and make a decision later. But this is the Brewmate Toddy coffee mug. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like holographic white. It was $17. It's leak proof. It's got the magnetic um, lid. So it, this doesn't go like flopping around all the time, which is nice. Um, and it's, I just take these kinds of mugs to work all the time and I'm constantly like waiting for my other one to get out of the dishwasher so I think I'm gonna end up keeping this for myself because I've been thinking to myself how the next time I see either this brand or the Corksicle one I need to grab another because I use these all the time so um, I'm really excited that I found this because um, I really like this brand and the Corksicle ones because they're insulated so it keeps it warm or it could keep it iced if I wanted to use it for iced um, and it says it's made from two and a half recycled water bottles which is cool. So um, I'm very excited to try this out for coffee. And then two more things that I'm so, so excited about. Like I mentioned earlier, I kind of have like a fruit, like a, a loose fruit theme going on in my kitchen, but really it's that I really like yellow and the blue of my cabinets together. So I've just been incorporating a lot of like lemon things to be totally honest and so I found this little glass lemon and I thought it was so cute so I had to get it it was 10 bucks um but I think it'll go really cute on my little island or whatever um it's just a piece of decor I don't know I, I like the the yellow and the blue together I don't know I don't know if I'm like being chewy or whatever for that but I really like it and then they had so many of these and I was so tempted to buy more than one, but I got this little silver metallic um, elephant. Oh my God, I almost just forgot what this is. Eight bucks 
And if you know me, you know I will buy nearly anything that has an elephant with its trunk up because it's supposed to be good luck. I have a tattoo of it, the whole thing. Um, it actually started that I saw this in pink and I almost bought it in pink until I saw it in silver. And I was like, okay, silver goes better with multiple things in my house. I can put it on my TV stand as decor, stuff like that. Um, and it kind of looks like a balloon animal in a way, you know, with how the nose is. I think, I think honestly, that's the point. But I just thought it was so stinking cute. It was $8 if I didn't say that already. Um, and I'm very excited to put this on my TV stand. So yes, made some good progress <laughs> with my Valentine's Day gift. Made some good purchases for myself. I'm really content with everything I bought. I'm proud of myself for putting some of those candles back and really being smart with my money this time. Like, yes, a lot of this is things I didn't need, but I was in a good mood <laughs> after um, passing that practice exam. So um I'm excited for everything that I got. And I think I said that three times already, but anyway, I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I feel like I've just been rambling for the whole day straight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.